Good afternoon, ladies. Um, thank you for letting me have this opportunity. I'm so excited. The moment that Ryan told me about this position on Friday, I was just like, I was made for this. Like, this is my calling. I love helping people grow and reach their fullest potential. I want to see people win and I want them to, that's just, it's like in my, it's just in who I am to like want to help serve others and to help them to be the best. I think, I think what I have that can really help this role is that I, I do live to help others and I love to watch them grow and thrive. I'm, I'm constantly just cheering people on um, and kind of fell into hospice that way because I wanted to be a difference maker. You know, and I, I think a lot, we serve a lot with our church. We're just doing a big serve day on, sun, or on Saturday this weekend. And I just really wanted to make a difference. So hospice has been so great. And it has been, you know, it's very challenging because it is, you have to earn people's trust every day. And I think I'm really good at that because I'm a good listener. And I don't just go in and tell the family, these are the services we'll do for you. These are all, and just... It would overwhelm them, and so when they're choosing between three different hospice companies, I can assure you that they will always pick our company when they're interviewing, and that's because I don't go in just, here's all this stuff. You know, I want to hear what their concerns are, their fears are. I want to know what, what they need and what they need help with, and then I can go in and kind of fill in those gaps of how we're going to make a difference here, and, and if we're not the right fit, at the end of the day, we're not the right fit, but I just love working with people and I love um, helping them just be the best that they can be and hospice has been great and really helping them in the hardest time of their life it's it's a scary time and I also have so many competitors in this field so I have to also win over the doctors the hospitals the nursing homes and really gain their trust to care for the people that they call their family and beat out all of our competitors so um I think I know what it takes to really work with people and make, help them be part of something better. Um, sorry, my nose is kind of itching. I think my biggest challenge with the role would be working from home. And not that I can't work from home, but just that I love people. Like I just got done with the chamber at lunch, which of course was smaller than usual. Social distancing, hand sanitizing, wearing masks wasn't that great because of that however I do like seeing people I'm the, the ambassador chair so I introduce all the new members I go out I meet them help them get acquainted with the chamber and how we can help serve and help them grow that's like it's just kind of what I've done I feel like in a lot of my life um but I think I would like working from, I've done business to business sales and I love like attending conferences and growing myself personally because if I don't grow myself personally I can't expect to help someone else grow um, but I do think that I would miss them maybe out and about but I think I would also I think I would just love it though so I can say that's probably my only challenge my personal objectives um, my personal objectives is you know I just want to continue to help people I want to serve people I want to help them reach their fullest potential and thrive and if the opportunity arises that I can make some more money than what I make now. I am motivated by money. Um, that would be incredible too. I mean, I have four kids and I would love to be able to help them pay for their college and just do a family vacation. We go to the lake here in Missouri, Kansas City, and that's about it. Like, it's just too much money to afford. My husband is a servant at heart too and does a lot of his own things, so we don't really bring in, you know, the funds to do a lot of the extra stuff, but I would love, love, to be able to do more for them, you know, that's, that's probably my, and to give back, like I told myself, like, how cool would it be if we made more money and we could give more, because that's, that's what we love to do, we do, we love to help others, um, and anything else that you'd like to know, honestly, I just, I mean, I've read Made for This, and I've read all the books and things that make you happy, and my soul is filled when I help others and I would love this opportunity to come in and do what you've done for my friend Ryan for so many other people. I would just love this. And so if you can just give me this opportunity, I'd be so grateful. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys soon. And um, I think that's it. Right under five minutes. I did it. <laughs>